Hello again, my nerd guests. I've got something for you that you can download for free. Actually, two things you can download for free. Check that out. So the first thing I got for you is I call it someone's grave. And what's going to happen is your redeemer is going to put in the cause of death and then it's going to choose somebody at random that's currently in the chat and just apply that to the grave. So someone in your chat is going to die for some reason that was written by everybody else. The next thing I've got for you is, well, how about letting everybody trick or treat on your stream? And they're gonna either get a treat or they're gonna get tricked. Either way, it should be a lot of fun. Now, both of these redeems will be available on my website and as well as the installation instructions themselves. So with that, let's show you how these actually work. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the someone's grave and how that works. It's a very simplistic thing. And you can use this kind of setup for really anything you want when it comes to making redeems. So on this someone's grave redeem, it simply starts out with adding 10 random Twitch users that are present only. Now to do this, all you have to do is go to Twitch, down to user, and go to add random users. In here, you can put as many different people as you want. So you can pull a whole host of different people that you want, and you can click this for present viewers only. Now, if you don't care about who's present, and you just wanna really add from anywhere, you can. Next thing we do is we add the info from the variable of random user name and then a number. Now, since I've done 10, I can do either zero through nine. I choose one just because why not? Now, the next thing we have is where the text is going to be random user name number one, so you're going to notice that this doubles up the text on pretty much all the text. And that's because we're giving it a 3D effect and the front color is going to be a gray color. The back color is going to be a black color. And this is just in case you don't want to add extra plugins to your OBS. So in here, you'll see the someone's grave has random username number one, which is what we got when we got our random user. We do the same thing with the background text. And then, as you see, I have a folder here that says RIP. So with this folder, you're going to see in here, there's a few different arguments where it's either going to be re RIP, rest in peace, in loving memory, forever remembered, here lies, and then if you want to add more, you can just duplicate and add your reasoning here, but this is basically those little headliners that randomize for right here on the text of either rest in peace, here lies, and gives a little bit of difference to your graves as they come up. And as always, these folders are done just by randomizing the folder and it'll choose just one of them. Then we have the death reason, which is coming from the raw input. And this is from the Twitch chat. Whoever redeemed it is putting in whatever the reason may be. And we have that down here as well. Then it's going to turn on the grave so that way it's not running while you're not using it, moves the grave up onto your scene, waits, and then it will move the grave down and then turn off. And the setup is as simple as that to make this work. But what I did was I went ahead and I animated all of that, that video file and I did that in Blender. I used Blender to make sure that you were going to have a nice clean video that ran the same every time and really is something a little bit more unique. And this is how I use graphic design with streamer bot in order to make things really cool. And then as far as installing this, you just do as normal. You nest this into any scene you want this to appear. So on whatever scene you are currently on that has your gameplay or your camera or whatever, you just go to sources, you add a scene source and you just add this scene to it and voila, you're done. There's really nothing else you need to do unless you want to size it down, which is not a problem. You size it however you want. So the next thing I've got for you then is trick or treat. And this is really just letting your viewers come in and trick or treat on your channel. Something that, you know, why not? It's Halloween. Have fun with it. It's not always going to be treats that you're giving out. You're going to play some tricks on some folks. So let me show you how this works. OK, so I have the widget currently up and really this in OBS is just an audio source and a video source. Now, the audio, audio source is completely optional. You don't have to have it in here at all, but this is already set up for a channel point redemption. Now you will need to go in and you will need to change the point amount. But if I click this and I redeem it, treat, 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 treat. what are we getting? Ooh, a treat. Yay. And as you'll see, it says that OSU Phoenix has received a treat of M&Ms, which is exactly what showed up. So let me show you how this actually works out. So here you'll actually get two different actions. One's just your regular trick or treat and the other one is for trick. So let's go over how this actually works. It'll add the info for who redeems it. So whoever is going to redeem it, we're going to get their name from this. We're setting the argument here of random video folder to 
and you have to set wherever the folder is that comes with this. You gotta set the pathway to this. And the reason is, in here we take a little bit of a different approach to getting a random video from folder. So it's going to go ahead and apply a random video folder that we've had there. Then it's going to go ahead and grab whichever video file at random it wants to, but it's going to take it without that extension. Now, the reason we're going to take it without the extension is because then we can use the name of the video file and use it as an argument is basically to say you got M&Ms, you got Snickers, you got a pumpkin thrown in your face or something like that. This is how I like to work some of this so that way I don't have to worry about what am I getting it's just already going to pre-compile a argument for me that's going to get stored and then I know what we're popping up. And so now you'll see that we have the random video is being set as a global variable and that is the pathway that you're setting in order to make this video happen. Then it's going to retrieve it without that extension name so that way we can make sure we're getting the name that's applied to the video without having .webm or dot mp4 or anything like that happening afterwards and then it's going to set that to its own global variable and then it's going to go through and it's going to check there are three different tricks that can be played one is a skull one is a spider and one's a jack-o-lantern if any one of those three are the ones that get triggered it's going to set a variable of treat to either true or false that's what we're going to be looking for now this way if it comes back that the treat is actually a treat it will say, hey, cool, we've got a treat. Yay, good for you. And it will continue on the way it's supposed to. But if it's the trick, that's the reason why we have a second action to go to. So we go through and we get all those global variables that I have set through the code. In the OBS raw, all we're doing is setting the video file to whatever is being chosen. And then, of course, we make it come up. We make it visible. But this is where it comes into play is, hey, was the trick or treat? Is it a... Is it not a treat? Is it a trick? If it's a trick, then it's going to go and run our trick action, and then it's going to stop there. Or if it is if it is a treat, it's just going to continue on down the line. If it's a treat, it's going to reply in your chat that if the target user has received a treat of and whatever the name of the video file is, in which you can see I have labeled out here that there are different video files that it, it's either a bag of Doritos, a bag of Lay's, M&M's, Mars Bar, Snickers Bar. We have different treats as well as we have our tricks. Now, this also does play that really creepy trick or treat sound, and you can change that audio to whatever you want. I just included a trick or treat for you that's really creepy sounding just in case you want it. But if you want to change it to some other way of saying something or something creepier, you can add those in and just change that within the OBS audio source itself. Like, that's just up to you. I put that there for you. You don't have to have it. You can disable it if you want to, however you want to work it. But then in our trick redeem, it's basically going to do the same thing. At the end, it's just changing the saying here to saying the target user was tricked with whatever it is, a skull, a spider, a jack-o'-lantern. One of those is going to pop up. And that's how basically this is all going to work and choose what you're going to get. So when we hit that redeem once again, am I going to get a trick or a treat? Oh, I got another. I got a bag of lace, which is great. Trick or treat. Ah, it's a spider. So that way we get some tricks, we get some treats, and it'll even say over here, as you notice, has been tricked with a spider. So treats or tricks, you never know what you're gonna get. And those are the two redeems I have for you. Again, you can download those on the website and use them however you want. And it's just in time for Halloween, so you can kind of spoopy up your streams just a little bit. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me and let me know. And if you're looking for more stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel so that way you can make sure you're keeping up with all these things I'm coming up with. And I love taking stuff that I can make in Blender and tie it in with StreamerBot and then throw it all into OBS and make some amazing, unique redeems. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this is something fun for you. So I'll catch you on the next video. Have a good one.